Well, good morning. It is Saturday, February 27th, second to last weekend of the late season goose hunt. I got about a half hour to wait till, till shooting hours. Um, it was a full moon last night and there's a lot of birds working the field this morning in the dark, flying around by the moonlight. In fact, I think there's a bunch roosted. And, uh, I've had that happen here before. I just got a feeling it's gonna be a really good day today. It's really calm, there's no wind. The sun's gonna be out today, so it's gonna be a bluebird day. And uh, what that means is, is I'm predicting that the birds are going to come all at once. There's going to be a big flight of them early. There's a kiss of frost on everything today. And uh, it's the calmest day of the week so far. It's been really stormy all week. Hail, thunder, snow, no west, northwest winds over 20 miles per hour. And so today it finally calms down. So stay tuned and see what happens here. Let's go hunting. Cacklers and illusions really hard to bring down. Targeting pairs and singles, big geese. Those are the ones that are easier to trick. Not so like strength and numbers like those geese are. Oh, my God. 
around. In the fog, you're almost hunting with your ears more than anything because you got to listen for them.
So being quiet worked. Sure missed my first couple of shots, but it's hard to get a good stance in this spot. It's pretty cool though. Here's a quick look at my decoy strategy for today. It is a low wind day, very calm, little to no breeze at all. So what that means is I can put my decoys facing any direction I want and I can spread them out all over the place. I'm making pretty much just a loose pattern. I have floaters, sentries, resters, feeders, and shells. And I'm also using my best decoys because it's the end of the season. And uh, I'm doing what is called a donut spread or a circle spread. And I just have a loose 
like circle pattern of decoys, about 40 yards diameter all around me here, or pretty much all in front of my hide. And uh, geese, as you've seen, when there's little to no wind, will uh, circle a lot. And they come in high, and they circle a lot, and they like to drop down right amongst the decoys with no real pattern amongst themselves, and spread out in every direction. And uh, just watch geese feeding in a field on a calm day with no wind, and you'll notice that behavior. And so I like to match the decoys to that type of behavior. Wow, sometimes Canada geese give you a run for your money. So, this last goose that I got here, you saw the cacklers or the illusions. They circled and they landed in the water and uh, they swam over just shy of the decoys. They were kind of far, but I figured that was where they were stopping and not coming any closer. So I took a Hail Mary shot and broke its wing. It swam all the way down the slough. I chased it with one shell in my gun, shot it on the water, missed, came back, got ammo, went back, chased it down. It ran up on the other bank and I aimed high, sprayed it with shot, and it died. But I had to go all the way around to the property line, come across, and then all the way back on the other bank of the slough to get the goose and then repeat the process to come back. And, uh, Right there. So today, there was definitely a good flight right at daylight. You know, they were flying good till about 9 o'clock. And then about 9.30 is when the big flock came in. Uh, I called a lot first thing in the morning because geese are very vocal in the morning. And then about 9.30, 10-ish when they started, you know, I just decided before that big group came in just to put the calls away and not blow on them. And it worked. The decoys did what they were supposed to do with that circle spread and I let that do the work and they didn't they wanted to land I'm sure if I would have waited a little longer they would have but they were right there and I shot and missed twice but as I learned when I was young pick out one bird in a flock and keep shooting at it until you either drop it or your guns empty and that's how that one fell and then you know there was a, about an hour and a half lull in the action I was standing here by this tree and I looked up and silently another group of cacklers came in and they saw me but I had my gun so I ran out and I shot at it. I broke its wing and I chased it down and had to finish it off further down the field and then this was the last bird right here. It's going on noon right now and uh, I think I'm going to pick up here soon, probably within the next half hour. I might give it till 12.30, but it takes me a while to pick up and get out of here, and it's a sweaty business. Um, I thought I was going to end the day with one. I stuck it out. I stayed positive. Uh, you know, it's best if you just go out and hunt and set a time to go home and stay till that, and you never know how the conditions are going to change. Um, so there was definitely two flights today, the 9.30 one, and then the one that was at about 11.30. There were geese everywhere, and uh, it's with Canada geese. You want to wait for them to land, but at the same time, you don't want to pass up an opportunity when they're within gun range. And I have to say, it's just it's easy to get rusty after duck season is over with. You know, you take two weeks off, you don't go all the time, and uh, I don't know. It's easy to make excuses. I should have a fourth bird today, but I don't. But with that, I'm going to call it a wrap, and uh, I'm going to pick up these decoys and sled them back to the truck. It's easier coming in in the morning because of the ice and the frost. It's going to be a lot more friction on the sled going out, so definitely going to have to lo lose some layers for the big workout. So thank you for joining me today, and uh, I'll see you next time out in the goose blind. Here's a closer look at the birds from today. I'm pretty sure this one here is a lesser. It's just not that got the size of a greater, but it looks like one. 
And then these guys over here. I know that that black stripe between the white cheek patch means something. Uh, so I need to go back and look at my books to see if that's either an illusion or a cackler. They are a little big. They're, they're fat little guys. This one here has this red pigment on its chest. Hopefully that's not blood. Well, that's blood right there. But uh, one of those gave me a run for the money. I got my workout for the day just alone, chasing down that last goose.